Okay, Scorpio, there's somebody here. They want to take things to the next level with you. They want to take it fast, okay? Hello, my beautiful Scorpio. How are you guys? My name is Starseed Zayad. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a reading for you. This is for the Lion's Gate, New Moon, August 8th, and Leo. And so this is a new moon. We're going to see what new energy is coming your way. This could be a new job, a new relationship, okay, a change in your career. Uh, it could be a variety of things. Now, this is a general reading, so certain things may not resonate. That's okay. Take what resonates. Leave everything else behind. Also, I would advise everybody to please read the disclaimer in the description box below. And if you're interested in a personal reading, then check the link tree link in the description box below as well. So, Scorpio, let's see here what this Lionsgate New Moon is going to bring your way. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, and elders. What do you see for Scorpio? Okay, this card flipped face up first. So that is your center energy. The Page of Pentacles, here we have the Eight of Wands. Truly grateful for all your messages. The Emperor. The Four of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Okay, Scorpio, there's somebody here. They want to take things to the next level with you. They want to take it fast, okay? Now, this new moon, let's, let's talk about the center energy here first, and then we'll talk about this side, and then we'll talk about this person. So this new moon is really going to bring this energy of you getting on track with your goals, okay? Because you have the Page of Pentacles there, you're looking at your goals, you're looking at your dreams, you're starting to take things a bit more seriously here, you want to take things a bit more seriously, okay? You want to have some sort of plan, you want to structure yourself, and you want to really get into a routine, okay? This could include a fitness routine where you're working out X amount of days a week, it could also include a meal plan, okay? I feel like you really want want to get a, a schedule going, you want to get organized, and you just want to start hitting some goals here and there because you're feeling the pressure, like 2021 is almost over and we're almost in 2022. So I feel like you really are wanting to invest your time wisely and take advantage of every opportunity that comes your way with the Page of Pentacles there. Here we have the Eight of Wands with the Four of Swords. So this, uh, previously, it might have felt like things were going slow. You might not have felt motivated or inspired to really do anything, okay? You might have felt really bored. Uh, some of you might have been unemployed, sitting at home a lot, watching a lot of Netflix. And you just might have felt like you've lost motivation. And so this new moon energy is really going to bring inspiration, okay? With that Eight of Wands, which is also fire energy. This new moon is Leo, so it's fire energy. So the power is amplified here. It's going to be a newfound motivation and inspiration within you, okay? Like I was saying with that Page of Pentacles in the center there, Scorpio, you're going to feel more alive, okay? You're going to feel more uh, driven, more competitive, okay? In a good, healthy way. You're going to really want to make things happen. You're not going to want to just sit on the sidelines anymore watching and waiting. You're going to start taking action and you're going to make moves, okay? Now, over here, we have the Emperor and the Knight of Cups. So, there is somebody, Scorpio, that is looking after you, okay? They've been sitting around, they've been looking out at you. Uh, they've been kind of curious about you, but they've just been waiting for the right time to approach. And now, this new moon is going to give them the confidence and the courage to approach you, okay? With that Knight of Cups. Uh, because the Emperor is there, this person is really structured, and they're very organized in their life, okay? They also might be sitting on a nice stash of money. So they could be very well well off, excuse me. They could also have a very nice car here or a sporty type car like a Dodge Charger or even a Corvette, some of them. They feel like they're into luxurious things in life, okay? Because you do have the Emperor there. Uh, they really think highly of themselves, um, even if other people don't agree with them on that. They're looking for 
a real connection with you, Scorpio. They, they This is not just a friend with benefits situation. They are looking to commit to you, okay? Um, but at the same time, I feel like they're a little too cold for their own good. So we're going to draw more tarot cards to get more information on everything. Um... But yeah, this this new person, I definitely feel like they're dark haired. Um, it feels to me like they they could be some sort of supervisor or manager at a company. And like I said, they're very structured, very organized. They're very good with money, is what I'm getting here. Wow, this just flew here. What do we have? The Two of Pentacles. Okay, let's keep going, and then we'll go over everything that fell out. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune, that's good. That is good. The Tower, but in reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles, but in reverse. That's an interesting energy. More information on the Knight of Cups, please. The Magician. And the Emperor, the Page of Pentacles, with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. What? What is going on? What's going on here? The Tower in reverse with the Magician? Okay, I'm gonna get into this. I have I, I have some stuff I wanna say, but first let's talk about this. So over here you have the A of Wands with the Two of Pentacles. So this newfound energy is gonna give you motivation, gonna give you drive, okay, you're gonna feel more competitive in a healthy way, right? So you're gonna wanna get things done. With the Two of Pentacles there, Spirit is just saying to remember to balance yourself out and don't try to take on too many responsibilities all at once, okay? Uh, have an equal balance here. Don't just pile everything on your plate all at once. Okay. So then we'll move over here. Okay, so over here we have Four of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you were down on your luck, Scorpio, for a time being. Um, I also feel like you might, you might have been waiting for things to be more favorable in your circumstances so you were it was like you were in this weird uh place where it was like okay like should i go now should i make the move now should i do what i want to do now or sh should i wait for a better moment like what should i do so it's it's more of like a slower paced energy i'm getting here but with that Wheel of Fortune there, it does signify something new coming in and something good. Um, so that goes good with the new moon because it is a new energy coming in. Now over here we have the Emperor, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and the Page of Pentacles. So like I said, Scorpio, this is a new person, okay? This is a new person, this whole column here. Now the Page of Pentacles, but the Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the Emperor. Um, feels to me like this person isn't as rich as they claim to be. They like luxury, okay, they like nice things, but I don't think they're as rich as they seem to come off as in terms of money because we have the Page of Pentacles there. So I feel like they're just starting to amass wealth um they're good at saving money they have great money management skills but with the queen of pentacles in reverse they're they're not rooted in this career okay they are fairly new the, you know this isn't something they've been at long term so they come off like they have money but they have just basically started their career i feel like here we have the Knight of Cups, the Magician, and the Tower in Reverse. This is interesting. I feel like, Scorpio, some of you already know this person, and I feel 
You guys have exchanged words before, so with the tower in reverse, it doesn't really feel like a shock when this person approaches you. Um, and the magician there, I feel like maybe you've had feelings for this person, or I feel that maybe you've known that this person has feelings for you. So this doesn't feel like a surprise to me, okay? This person approaching you, um, it does not feel like a huge shock to you, Scorpio. I do want to get more information, though, on how this connection is going to play out. Oh, that just flipped over. Knight of Wands. Yeah, a very uh, sexual energy. Okay, with this individual. Very sexual energy. Knight of Wands. A lot of passion. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. I feel like you know for some of you i feel like this could be your ex okay i do feel that or i feel like this is somebody that you've you know you've had your disagreements with and you've been on and off um because with the tower in reverse you know this tower in reverse it almost feels like it, it's already happened like the fights okay the big fights the big breakup the big separation so for some of you, some of you Scorpios, this is an X, I feel. King of Swords. Yeah, they... <sighs> well, here, let me draw more cards. The Ace of Cups. And one more. The Two of Swords. So yeah, this person, whether they are an X or somebody that you already know, Scorpio they're back and forth like they want to commit but then they just want a sexual relationship with you okay um it is an interesting scenario going on i just want this glare okay i think that's a little better it is an interesting scenario going on here because i feel like this person is really uh emotional okay like they go through the motions um like one moment they're in love with you but then the other moment they just they're not emotionally there so now it makes sense why the emperor and the queen of pentacles in reverse is here and the emperor is aries energy so a lot of passion very sexual energy but then the queen of pentacles in reverse um, that tells me that they're not really looking for something long-term with you, Scorpio. And then over here, the Magician, the Knight of Cups, but with the Tower in reverse. It just feels to me like you already know what to expect with this person. Like, if they walk away, you're not going to be in shock. You're not going to be upset, I feel. I feel like you already can sense it from this person, that they're really not looking for anything too serious or i feel you can sense they're like back and forth they're constant back and forth like one day they love you and then the next day there's not really an emotional connection there they just want to have sex so you have free will it's your call if you wish to pursue this um <sighs> You know, I just, I feel like you're both starting out, because we have the Page of Pentacles twice, you're both starting out in your career, in your respective careers, or you're starting, you're both starting new jobs, or you're both going to school, like, the Page of Pentacles is starting something in regards to business or career. So I feel like you're both in that situation now the eight of wands was over there so again i do feel like fast energy and eight of wands also is like when i'm seeing it with love i'm thinking okay you know intercourse sexual intercourse okay whether that be vaginal or anal you know what i mean because it's such a fast energy just moving in. And so I feel like 
I feel like in a past life you were with this person, so it isn't so much as a surprise. You just don't know it. I feel like there's a lot to... You know, if you guys want this to work, there's a lot here in terms of... Having to open up about your feelings in regards to each other, because I feel like there's a lacking of communication, okay? The magician there, I feel like too much time is spent in the mind, and there's uh, not so much vocalization about how people are feeling and whatnot. So, this could work, but then... It, it, it really depends on this person too, Scorpio, because sometimes I feel like they don't want to commit to anything. Sometimes I feel like this person with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like they want to quit their job. They want to quit school. They, they, they don't want to do that shit. They don't want to commit to that. So I, I feel like they're going through their own struggle with work and whatnot and finding their true purpose and sometimes that leaks into your guys relationship okay i'm looking into the future if you do decide to pursue something with this person sometimes that leaks into your guys connection and it can sour the connection so there's a lot of communication that has to be had between the two of you to make things work. I believe this is Wisdom Guide. So yeah, 8 plus 1 in numerology is 9. 9 is the completion of a cycle. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, you might have felt like things were slow, like things were stagnant. Now that part of your life is about to end. Things are about to pick up speed, they're about to get more exciting, more fun, and with this wisdom guide here, again, it's, you know, really reiterating what I was just saying. They they want you to be uh, wise with how you speak to this person and how you go about with this connection, okay? Because I feel like it's all going to come down to the way you guys talk to each other. It could work, but if you guys are not communicating fully with each other, then it's just going to end. And I feel like the tower in reverse is representing that. It's not going to be a surprise that you guys walk away from each other. You're not going to be shocked. They're not going to be shocked. Because if you can't get to a place where you can communicate with each other and you're just constantly arguing, then you both know where this is headed. Remain positive, yeah. Yeah, it's it's right there. Like, you, you guys really have to be able to remain positive, but not just that. Uh, not to get too involved in what you guys don't have. Specifically them, because I feel like Scorpio, you're a bit better with accepting this and being patient. But this other person, it feels to me like some days, like I said, some days they wake up and they want to quit their job. They don't want to go to work. They don't want to go to school. They're over the shits. Okay, they don't, they don't feel like that's their life purpose. And their soul and intuition is going to tell them to do something else. And it's just going to be a war that they're waging within themselves. And you have to be there to support them, okay? Um, it's important to not judge or critique them um, as hard as it might feel. You can't start judging or critiquing them because that's just going to make them uh, want to distance themselves from you. Align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? So yeah, it's interesting because I f remain positive, I, you know, I just want to, and I touched on this briefly, but I just want to say like, there was a moment here with this Four of Swords where I felt like things were moving really slow for you and it just wasn't really exciting. Um, you felt like, I feel like some of you felt that things were never really going to change and it was just going to be a boring life. 
So there's an analysis that needs to occur here within yourself and recognizing how you can make your life more fun, more exciting, more thrilling, okay? And having a sense of purpose, okay? Align your life. Walking in alignment, okay? Walking in your truth. This is definitely something that you are going to start questioning with this Lionsgate new moon portal opening up, okay? Um, it really is going to make you question what you're doing with your life and if that is what you want to be doing for the rest of your life, okay, Scorpio? So now we are going to close out your reading with a message from Lumeria. Oh, that card just wanted to come out. It was begging. So here we have the artwork of the card. And now we're going to turn it back. Awaken awareness. Okay, yes, yeah, see? This is what this is all pointing towards, I feel. So... There are many levels of awakening. Keep learning and putting yourself into situations where you can grow. Stay aligned with your inner guidance and do what you love to keep your vibe high. Seek not instant pleasure, but substantial and sustainable joy. Eat healthily, keep your body active, and have life goals, but with enough space to hear the answers to your prayers. Okay, so I was I was saying that um, in the beginning. Like it feels to me like you're going. You're going to really structure yourself. You're going to make plans. You're going to make goals. Okay. So yeah, it, it's going well with the reading. Find your unique way to connect to the divine inside you, not as an external seeking, but as a receptive allowing. Be inspired to see the question at hand with a different perspective. Look between the lines for a deeper interpretation. So it feels to me like Scorpio, all of this is happening for your spiritual awakening. Okay. Okay. And bringing you the ultimate goal here, your angels want to bring you closer to God and to your true life purpose. So this is all going to happen to get you on the right path that you need to be on to fulfill your life purpose and to do things that God has put you here to do. So that is your reading, Scorpio. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and I wish you love and light. Take care.